Just now I crashed my beatbox to drum, feeling so heartbroken. And then I had a small cut here from the propeller. The drone suddenly crashed, and this happened. I make a landing pad with bright paper, and underneath I have this waterproof material, almost hitting the the metal frame here. Look down here. Hi there, this is 10K Flying Walker. Today I'd like to share with you three terrible mistakes that I made while flying my Bebop 2 drone. Number one mistake I made, do not catch or land with your hand. Oh my god, just now I was landing over there and I want to try by catching with my hand and my finger was up too high. I hit the propeller and then I had a small cut here from the propeller so my blood is rushing now right now and it really hurts well usually I can catch this thing if I am careful but earlier I was just putting my finger too high and uh, very painful lesson learned yeah as you can see if you land in the grass area sometimes the grass could get into the fan underneath the bee bug too so what I thought is oh I don't want that to happen I start to catch with my hand when it's landing coming down and then I catch like this and then shake it off then it will land. Now, one time I wasn't paying full attention. My middle finger was high up like this and then this blade cut it. So you can see right here there's a cut still haven't healed. Number two mistake you can make when you fly the Bebop drone is do not set up the emergency button. Two days ago, I thought, okay, when I'm flying this thing, some emergency could happen, and I want to program the button to shut the engine immediately. So on the D-pad, I said when I press down, it will cut the engine. And what happened was yesterday, I was flying at a mountain and I was busy talking with a friend, somebody with a stranger, somebody who interested in the drone and I let my son fly it and I forgot to tell him not to press the D-pad down because that's what I set up for emergency landing and the result was horrible. My drone was about two three meter up in the air and my son was pressing the d-pad down and then the drone suddenly crashed and this happened the battery part that compartment fall off so right now my battery won't hold so I use this this knot to tie the battery otherwise with very gentle push the battery would just fall off from the drone so that was a terrible mistake so i go into the controller pad and take off the emergency button the third terrible mistake i made i almost lost my drone into the water is to set your launching area because anytime you could lose your wi-fi and the drone need to return home so you must make sure you have three meter radius for the drone to come back if the radius is too small and there are some metal some tree around potentially you could lose your drone oh my god just now i crashed my beatbox to drone feeling so heartbroken 
what happened was I have a clear launching site. I fly on the river into the lake and then I fly toward the lake and at about 70 meters I lost the signal. So my height was around 29 meters in the air. After 15 seconds it start turn around and returning home. But the problem is the tree was taller than 29 meter. The tree probably around 32 meters and as it fly back the tree is on its way and bang the rear propeller here get caught into the tree and it drop from around 29 meter right onto the edge of the river bank almost drop into the water just like one meter away in that area it's sandy area so the whole thing sunk into the sand there was sand everywhere I scratched the lens a little bit and one of the propeller is bented a little bit at the edge and just now I did couple test fly and everything seems fine except that the bented propeller is making some loud noise that's another lesson learned when you fly high you need to make sure returning home area is big enough and you have to be higher than the tree otherwise when you lost the signal you try to come back it's gonna hit the tree well another very important lesson learned and lucky is still working let me summarize my three terrible mistakes and three lessons that I learned. Number one, do not land and catch the beat buck tool drone with your hand because potentially you could cut your middle finger. Instead of landing and catch with your hand, that's very dangerous, potentially you could cut yourself, is make a landing pad. See, here, I make a landing pad with bright paper and underneath I have this waterproof material so that I can use it in a wet area. Two, do not set the emergency button on the controller because yourself, your friend, somebody might accidentally hit it. And three, expect yourself to lose the Wi-Fi signal because potentially at any time you could lose your signal and you need to rely on drones return home function and it is usually very accurate within one to two feet but once in a while it could be not so accurate up to six feet seven feet so you want to make sure three meter radius the launching site is very safe for the return home function to kick in. That's it for now. Please sum up my video, press the like button, and comment below. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.